It was this is hard pass, Kyle. Oh, yeah. This is hard pass. That's I'm going to give it up. Let me pull up Michael Chandler real quick. So Michael Chandler, right? Yeah. He is a MMA fighter. Okay, okay. He's white. I, I done seen him a couple of times. He's white. Yep. His wife is white. Mm-hmm. But he got two kids. Yep. By his wife? No. Well. He's a cheater. Listen. The two kids are black. God dog. He adopted them. And there's huh. a. Uh, <laughs> wait. Hold up. I don't, I, I don't know how many kids he got, but I can tell you for sure that he got two black kids. <laughs> Let me see. Hold how on. old are these kids? I forgot the age. I forgot the age. But okay, yeah, they, uh, there you go. Right there. I ain't even going to lie. When I saw that picture you had just click on, yeah. I wish I could have thrown up. Why? <laughs> it just looks sick, man. <laughs> it, 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 it's giving, now, uh, it's giving, uh, what that movie get called? Get out. It's giving get out. <laughs> Which is funny, because we're going to get to that at some point. So check this out. Uh, Angelina Jolie, she has a black kid. She got a bunch of them, ain't it? No, she only got one. Oh, okay. Well, from what I know, she only got one. But she also has regular kids, like her, her own kids also. Uh, Thomas Rhett. Yeah, yeah, I like Thomas Rhett. Yeah, he got a black kid. But he also <laughs> has his own kid, too. His wife works for... Uh, um. What do you call those people that go around the world helping people and stuff like that? I don't know. But she works for one of those and she just built a bond with a black kid and they ended up adopting the kid. Now, I I believe that story. Michael Chandler, I don't I don't know what's going on <laughs> with his situation. Cause it seemed like it's targeted. I don't think Thomas Rhett targeted, and I don't think Angelita Jolie targeted. Are those black kids Ken? Are they brothers or no, sisters? No. They're just too random. It, to my point. This is my point. This is the whole point that I'm making, right? It'd be one thing if he adopted a black kid, and then when he adopted another kid, it, it would make sense if you didn't adopt another black kid. <laughs> because why? Why are you what are you trying to do here now? It it, it seemed a little fishy. Nah, so um I've heard, I wish I had more uh, backstory and more proof, mm -hmm. but I've heard this five, ten ye years ago. Oh, shoot. Why are you saying it like that? I ain't about to come out of the closet or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. It ain't no confessions or nothing, man. Talk about it. Talk about but, it. But yeah, no, um, I heard that uh, white people, they do um, adopt black kids hoping that they excel in uh, sports because, you know. For some reason. Don't, I'm being serious. Don't look at me like that. That's. Do you think that that's sick? I think that's it, sick. It, it. <laughs> Something is wrong with that. <laughs> Go ahead. But, uh, but yeah, um, I, I've, 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 I've heard that they adopt black kids big because by default, mm -hmm. I guess. I'm not sure if it's the DNA or what. But You ever seen the movie, uh, I think it's called Blindside? I saw Blindside, yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm trying to have a serious discussion, man. All right. No, but uh, seriously though, I've I've heard that years ago that yeah. they date, and then whenever they um, cause they can, can choose who they mm -hmm. adopt. Yeah. And most of them make sure that the father is between six four and six eight ah. and stuff <laughs> like that. So they uh try to get them to be um. Yeah. Now that I'm talking about it, dog, it do sound yeah, a little it, sick, yeah, man. it's wrong, man. It's not. <laughs> It's funny though, but is it, is it is it wrong? Cause they giving them a, a house and shelter, and they just want millions in return. What what does that sound like to you? I'm not gonna say it. All right, thank you. <laughs> it sounds I, like those are loving parents <laughs> that that's trying that to wanna, that want to have a kid that they make sure succeed that go to the NBA or the NFL. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, no, I I I, I did hear okay. that. Though. Okay, okay, that, that and that's fair. Cause I, what I'm saying is, I do think that that is part of the reason that a white person would adopt a black person. They not adopting the child because they love the child though. But I think with Thomas yeah, Rhett, it, it do sound sick, Trav. I with, ain't gonna lie. With Thomas Rhett, right? His wife met the kid, and it's a girl. So don't ruin that. Because I like Thomas Rhett. No, man. it's not ruining it. Okay, I'm saying right, good go ahead, things go about Thomas Rhett. Shout his out to him. his wife. 
uh, developed a relationship with a, a girl that had nothing to do with athletic ability or anything. They just, whenever she was like, she had to go overseas to do something to like, it was like a relief type thing. And they, you know, just always saw each other. And she, you know, they just kind of just became attached to each other. It's like, yeah. if you go to, a, um, you go to a daycare all the time. Well, that's probably not the best. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Take that out. <laughs> I'm going to leave it in. <laughs> no, man. No. I'm going to know the real you. I know no, you. but I, I'm just yeah. trying to, you know, just give an example of like going somewhere and then you and a kid just end up having a bond kind of thing. I went to buy a cat. There you go. Well, I wasn't going to buy it. I wanted to see, see if I could have get one for free. Yeah. And I went in and I saw a cat that I wanted because it reminded me of a cat I had when I was a child. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah, I like that cat. Yeah. When when went to uh, pick it up, the cat wasn't, you know, fawn fawn to me. Mm-hmm. And it was this uh, other all black cat with a white tail. Her name was Lu- Lucy. Mm-hmm. She walked up to me and rubbed against me. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, you know, it was an instant bond. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so that, that was to your story saying. I, I was trying to make it more human because... Yeah. To compare somebody to a cat might be. Well, what if if up. the girl the girl was, was a young black child, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if Thomas Rhett wife was just minding her own business, eating a piece of chicken, and that, then the black girl came over? That might be the case, though. But my whole point is that a bond can happen instantly, just like how you said with the cat. So maybe she was eating a piece of chicken, and the girl came over, said, "Hey, you want a piece?" And then she gave her a piece, and then <laughs> they just sat there. <laughs> You finally got it, Jeff. It took a long while. <laughs> you sick. So hold up. Go ahead. All right. I'm I'm so glad oh, you got chicken and watermelon. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead, go I'm ahead. so glad that you brought this up, right? Because this is my whole point of the whole uh, conversation. Yeah. I have a strong appreciation for dark humor. Yeah. Stereotype yeah, humor. I do. I love and, it. I love it. And like, uh, mm. jo- but it has to be. You know how Family Guy they joke on every race, yeah. every stereotype. Same thing with uh, Andrew Schultz. Every stereotype, every race. South Park. Every stereotype, every everybody race. Everybody can get. Yeah. It. And so, Guru, he does impressions, <laughs> and he did an impression of a uh, Michael Chandler. Oh man. Yeah. And then one of the impressions was the stere- like his kids becoming adults. And become the stereotypical black person, even though yeah. they got a white dad. Mm-hmm. So now that bond is different now because uh, imagine, you know, you out in the street and then you go home and then you your, your dad is white. Yeah. And so I got a video. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Michael Chandler responded to MMA Guru on Instagram, calling him a piece of crap and all that stuff. Uh, I. I'm a fan of MMA Guru because I think his impressions are funny. I like the fact that he don't keep it in one spot. Like, yeah. he, he jokes on every race yeah. and every stereotype or whatever. So, mm-hmm. uh, after Michael Chandler said whatever to MMA Guru, his chat started spamming him asking for impressions of Michael Dang. Chandler and the kids. He's and that I, good at it. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, I'm about to let you be the judge of it. But, see... Uh, it, it really just come down. It, so, th- in particular, these are the impressions of Michael Chandler, who's a white dad with black kids. Mm. And all, every time it's to do with the black kids. And the chat is funny, too. Yeah. The chat will ask him to do an impression. And you'll just laugh at the question before he even get to the yeah. impression. So, let's get to it. This is uh, <laughs> when the chat will spam him to do impressions of uh, Michael Chandler's uh, <laughs> Michael Chandler situation. Yeah. yeah. Now... Michael Chandler's kids, one is named uh, Harp or Hap, and the other one it named... It can't be Hap, Trav. I know. I was thinking the same it thing. It can't be Hap, Trav. <laughs> but that, I think it has to be the name that he was given, though, right? Like, unless it can change it? You think it can change it? I don't think it can change it. I think the option is on the table because it's their child now. Now, nah, I don't, boy, his name I don't think so. Hap, Trav. Yeah, it's Hap and Ace. <laughs> 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 All right, so we about to we two black guys reacting to MMA Guru getting slammed with the uh excuse me Michael Chandler impressions. You ready? Let's do it. Let's go. Impression of Hop and Ace hitting a lick, but the Draco jams and they end up with their faces on a shirt. Damn. <laughs> Shut the fuck God, up. dog. <laughs> 
Chandler. Oh, another Chandler one, dude. I go, man, we on a shirt, man. What the fuck do you want, dude? Impression of homeless hap Chandler not being able to afford high school football, but Chandler's wife steps up and adopts him. She's played by Sandra Bullock. Okay? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> At the start of the film, she's got a regular hat, and by the end, it's backwards. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Dang. The classic films. Dude, those films are always so cringe when I was younger. When the white woman goes into the hood, and like she <laughs> teaches in math and they teach her like how to dougie or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> like the cringiest films ever. They acted like they had like some great message behind it, and I was just sitting there like this Blind is just retarded. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is the dumbest fucking film ever. White people dougie and it's funny anyway though. Why do you hate Chandler's kids so much? I don't. It's just funny to make jokes about a white family adopting nothing but black children it is it is like i just don't know why everyone liked family guy in south park and then the pandemic happened and everyone just acted like that shit weren't funny anymore good that's a fact that's true yeah the whole world changed yeah big time i don't know why that was a thing i don't understand why i can't have any like funny humor or anything like that any anymore impression of chandler's weight room being turned into a recording studio God, oh, dog. Yeah, just mute the uh, ass. <laughs> God, dog. <laughs> hey, shout out to Go MMA. This is uh, who this is uh, with. This is hilarious. Excuse me. All right, we should be straight now. Hey, are those my fucking dumbbell plates on the fucking mixing desk? What's going on here? Thank you for the seven Canadian dollars, though. <laughs> Come on, guys. Guys, I'm telling you, you gotta stop, guys. Come on. <laughs> uh impression of Chandler at the adoption, dude. The Chandler just <laughs> loves getting paid money though, so I will keep reading them. <laughs> impression of Chandler at the adoption agency with a clipboard full of stacks stats acting like it's an NBA draft. Dang, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Uh, all right, Mike. Uh, this one lost his parents in a car crash. Yeah, but watch his vertical. Dumb. So fucking dumb. He's actually uh, pretty good. Uh, he was excelling in a nursery before uh, preschool. He actually uh, pretty. He's coming along really well. This one. Yeah, but let me see his handles though. <laughs> Yeah, to your point, yeah. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> think fast. He just goes in there, think fast. <laughs> it's, one, it's one of these kids with a basketball. Yeah, these ones ain't gonna make it. We're headed to a next town, honey. <laughs> we'll try out a town over. <laughs> think fast, kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they ain't got talent here, honey. We're moving on to town over. Good one, dude. Oh, my God. Chandler's kids again, dude. Impression of Chandler's kids going out to dinner, but they leak their location on an Instagram stream and get slid. Damn. <laughs> and get slid on by the ops. <laughs> <laughs> we did, man. The five Australian dogs. That's, that's we funny. Man, man. That's just lazy. Just the question is yeah, funny. Is <laughs> no, freaking Chandler hitting a think fast at an adoption agency is crazy. <laughs> Do we? Thank you for the uh, two dollars. I'll see you at the okay. Impression of Chandler bouncing a ball off young Leon Edwards' head calls him defective for not catching it and chooses artificial and all right, dude. God, this is going crazy now. We gotta chill with the Chandler stuff, dude, because I will get in trouble. Impression of the Chandlers on Urban Safari. <laughs> 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 Here we have the Magumba tribe of uh, South Africa. Truly indigenous to the area we go across the plains to find a chandler family <laughs> with a big net truly <laughs> mentally ill thank you for the five australian dollars impression of chandler taking hap and ace to their first learner dude stop now dude. <laughs> stop. i'm done with the chandler stop. impression of chandler getting home after i have no control now guys please after weighing in, ready to rehydrate, but only finding Kool Aid and Hennessy in his house. Damn! <laughs> God, dog! No. 
God, no. Drink my water. What the hell is this? <laughs> well, at least I've got my chicken I saved in the fridge. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's dying. It is, yeah. I'm hoping I'll do the joke enough that it'll die out and then we can move on. Yo, they sick. Lord. <laughs> Lord, forgive me. Yeah. Thank you for the 14 months of membership. We've definitely lost mm. the chicken connoisseur in this, uh, in this process, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. <laughs> there you go. Impression of Michael Chandler freestyling in front of his kids to be hip and in style. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> you know how to wait, Dad. Uh, always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. McGregor fight, swerving. <laughs> now I'm... I don't know how to rap, dude. <laughs> Thank you for the five dollars. Mm -hmm. Never kissed a bird. No, I've just never been like sober and had like meaning behind a kiss with a girl. You know what I'm saying? It's just nope. been like going hey, through sorry, the motions so I can Damn. get banana at the end of the night. <laughs> hey, blame go MMA for this being here. Okay. Hip and in style. I don't care if you kiss okay. a girl or not. All right, kids. I kind of got the flow, right? I'm getting <laughs> dirty, huh? Shut up, man. We trying to play a game, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting shot. Shot. I have to stop. Stop, stop, man. Stop. We trying to play the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> no way you beat 11 birds I haven't kissed one of them no I have I just haven't had like a meaningful relationship All right. I think it's uh, probably like two more in there we can kind of meaning see, behind cut it, it, it off it's just been drunk going through the motions so I can get slops dang very rarely though I haven't had since South Africa so is what it is <laughs> it's literally an annual thing guys but when I travel around I'll be uh, I'll be up to my nuts and guts don't you worry Impression of Leon uh, trying to get adopted by Chandler. No. Ah, fucking, I've lost a bit of how I need you. <laughs> get me through college, please. <laughs> you ever heard of Leon never talk about Chandler's mm -hmm. face on a t shirt and pouring one out once he gets smoked by your lips? Okay, stop it. Man, he was, he'd be missed, man. He ain't allowed back in this damn house. Impression of Cruz trying to initiate happiness into the cult by they keep failing every team building exercise. <laughs> you guys have got to learn to work together, man. Stop taking his rims off his car while he's in there doing the <laughs> Impression of kids angry when Chandler takes last grape soda. Man, I fucking told you, man. <laughs> the grape soda thing. Hey, yeah. to Chandler. That's a fact. You're a disgrace, man. Thousands and thousands of years of lineage. Chucked away, man. Just because you can't say no to your fucking sick wife. Thank you for the five Canadian dollars. All of these people crying over your jokes. So what's wrong with MMA today? This okay. is fighting, not a playground. People getting CTE for life crying over mean words. Yeah. You know what it is? I kind of... I didn't start this like the... So... Where, where is he from? London. Oh, okay. I was about to say, he don't sound like, 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 like he from around here. Yeah. yeah. Um... That's what's up. <sighs> pandemic era, and maybe just before pandemic era, around the before the real <laughs> late McGregor era when he was fighting for titles, um, you were not allowed to say a bad thing about a fighter ever. No one was. They'd have a hissy fit mm. every time. I'm, I'm going to say it right now. MMA fighters were the most boring, dull people. They would never talk about MMA. You've got all of these MMA fighters now that are talking about... All right. That was funny. Mm. I thought that that was hilarious. I was at work and I saw that this dropped and I was like, we got to react yeah, yeah. to this. Because see, here's the thing, right? A lot of people calling, well, it's, it's one of those situations where if you don't uh, listen to, if you don't watch an Andrew Schultz special yeah. and you only hear when he say the black jokes, yeah. you, you automatically be like, oh, he must be racist or something. That's a fact. Same, same thing with Guru. Can I say this? I've heard. Go ahead. The same thing with your boy Top G. Mm -hmm. You watch clips. America, the world, paint their own one. That's picture, true. But once you actually know the person. But yeah, yeah, go ahead, yeah, though. yeah. But no, that was the case with this where it was... um. I, I've heard him talk about Michael Chandler plenty of times. And what's funny is what Michael Chandler went after him for, he said worse stuff than that. It, he actually said some stuff that if Michael Chandler went after him, I'd be like, dang, I might be on Mike's side. Dang. This. But yeah. no, what Michael Ch I, I feel like Michael Chandler was just chasing some clout. Because Guru has his fan base has grown tremendously. Mm -hmm. And 
the UFC know who he is. Yeah. And they acknowledge who he is sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like, he was in some of their promo. Oh, okay, okay. That's and, yeah, now that he's there, the, the, the thing to do is to either beef with him or be a friend of him. Yeah, yeah. And it helps build your brand. But, yeah. That's a fact. Shout either way. Him. Either way. Shout out to him, man. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Guru. Uh, and hell, Guru sent some people to our channel, That's and a I, fact. I appreciate that. That's a fact. Shout out to Guru. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, drop down in the comments. Let us know what y'all think about MMA Guru versus Michael Chandler, and what do y'all think about Michael Chandler adopting the kids that he adopted? Because I'm not too sure about it. I'm just be honest, man. <laughs> it's giving get out. If it, if it, it is, it absolutely is giving get out. But if it was just one. That's different. Yeah, I, I could understand. You know, maybe there was a connection there, but there was an interview where he told the 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 he he said in the interview that he said to the kid that he said, "Let's pray for you to have a brother with skin like him." Dang. And I thought that I was like, I was like, all right, bro, something weird going on here. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but maybe it's what you said, where you know you you get an athletic black kid hoping that. They make it. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. And all you want is re in return is what? A couple million. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's the funny part to me. That's what I heard. But yeah. All right. Yeah. Let us know what y'all think. Let me say this before we click out. Though. Talk about it. Because if you adopt some white kids. Mm -hmm. you, me and you will still be friends? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying, if we being honest, yeah, yeah, yeah. what is their seat, seat ceiling? Oh. Oh, okay. They're the manager at a bank. <laughs> if you donate a black child, what what are they stealing? That's true. That's we talking true. Jimmy Butler here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But true, true. I don't blame You know his story, right? Yeah. It had something to do with Okay, yeah. Shout out to Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Jimmy. Uh, Cameron, one of Cameron Brink's favorite players ever. And shout out to Cameron Brink. That's a fact. All right.